Welcome my friends, today we have the new update, balloons and more. In fact, there are so many balloons they are going to be popping out awesomeness. Now first of all, I'm just going to kind of break down the gameplay and then give you a huge uh, kind of unfortunate happenings that Fortnite removed, but we'll get to that in a second. Anyways, um, Fortnite Mares. Now, if you have not completed these challenges you need to, you get the Dark Glider, which is very important. Now, one of the hard challenges um, is doing the four corrupted zones or areas in a single match. I made a whole video on it because it's pretty difficult to do. You'll want to use a new tactic. So the balloon item, definitely part of the update. And let's just get into it um, and get breaking down everything from the update. Okay, now this is the patch notes. And the bug fixes, uh, a couple things, a couple bugs here and there. Now, the big one that you'll find is the shield potion. Now, when you pop that shield, there won't be a delay. Currently, there's a, a delay, and it's very annoying. Thankfully, it's going back, and they will fix it. Now, the big thing is the balloons. Now, what are these balloons? It looks like it's going to be kind of like a hot air balloon, boys, uh, being able to float in the sky. Now, I assume it's going to be kind of put you in a precarious position, Hopefully, you'll be able to, uh, you know, inflate and deflate very quickly. Otherwise, you can be an easy target for a sniper or what have you. Now, you can find these in loot, chests, supply drops, llamas, which, unfortunately, they need to fix those. Please, please, Epic. Um, but don't float too high because <clears throat> there is a building height. Now, a new really neat thing, the grappler fix. And when the grappling, while in a vehicle, the velocity of your vehicle is factored in the grapple force. So what this means is... Um, you know, before, uh, it'll cause the vehicle to travel in a straight line. Now, that's what the update now. Before, it kind of travels in an arcish. So now you'll go straight across when you use a grappler in a vehicle. Um, maybe a small fix. I don't, you know, I don't, a lot of people probably didn't even use the grappler with a vehicle. Maybe they didn't even know about it. Um, I've used it just a couple times, but it's honestly not a, not a big use of things. Now, here's the big news, boys. This is crazy, and I'm really actually surprised they're doing this, but they are vaulting the semi-auto sniper, getting rid of the sniper. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of the semi-auto, but however, I did like it in certain situations, right? Um, certainly, it's a great strategy for when they think you are only get one shot with the sniper, but then you get a couple, couple shots at them, right? It can really change the difference in a snipe-on, snipe-all, sniper battle, you can really have an advantage because you get a couple shots. Um, now they are vaulting the guided missile, which is, of course, the worst weapon out there. I don't even know why they have the guided missile. I guess that's why they're vaulting it. Great job, Halo. Great deduction, my friend. And getting rid of the dual pistols, which no one played with. Um, really, you, I mean, unless they're like, you know, ARs are just way better, or SCARs. Um... Now, 25% of explosive damage will now penetrate through structures and the environment. So it looks like they're giving a buff to explosives. Um, interesting. Now, here's the big thing, and this is going to cause a lot of rifts in the community, featuring the glider redeploy. Um, now, I have mixed feelings. I would say, of course, it's it's amazing, right? Uh, you can just build up as high as you want. Don't have to worry about it and get away. Um, but in fact, I, I'm not, I, I think I'm, I'm gearing towards not liking it. I like that you have to, and the reason I like it because see, when, when, when you can take fall damage, it makes you think about what you should be doing, right? You can't just willy nilly, I'm going to build as high as I can and who cares? You have to prioritize. Do I want to make this build battle happen? I could get third party shot down or do I want to play the low ground? So it, it makes you have to think a little bit harder. Um, with the glider redeploy, you don't have to think. You can just build up as high as you want, jump off. Who cares? Uh, not a big whoop. So uh, they're going to keep it. They're going to add some new changes to it, but um, as far as sounds and weapon audios and things like that. But I don't know, guys. I'm, uh, give me your thoughts. Do you like it or not? I think it's really gearing towards the newbie, <laughs> the default, the, the noobertons out there, the new players. Because they, um, I guess they don't know what to do. I would say, just, I would rather have them bring back the, um, the uh, what was the, imp, not the impulse nade, the gravity um, trap or whatever. What was that called? I'm blanking on it. Bring that back and um, get rid of the redeploy. That's what I would like. Um, bug fixes, I already mentioned about um, the shields with the delay. Nothing too um, much. That was a big one, of course. Um, picking up a trap could use could cause a hitch. 
Um, they still need to fix the trap. I don't know why don't they fix the trap where you can't dodge it. Uh, I guess they want you to be able to dodge it, but it's like if you make a trap play, you shouldn't be able to dodge it. Um, they're going to um, do some audio fixes, nothing too uh, huge, except um, the big one here, it's now easier to hear gliders while shooting or harvesting, which is much uh, needed because certainly if the redeploy is happening, you need to be able to know if someone's coming on top of you. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, pretty much it. As far as the replay system, I'm really wishing they would fix this. It's If you notice, if you watch a lot of replays, it's really buggy all the time. Um, it doesn't load the game properly. It's very slow, really sluggish, and I'm really hoping they'd fix it. But apparently not in this update. And you have been tuned in by Halo Ochreheads. And unfortunately, we will no longer see snipers, well, the, the semi-auto sniper, um... I guess maybe they took it out because you could pop the balloons. <laughs> That's actually, you know what? I'm brilliant. That's probably why they did vault it. Because if you could semi-auto sniper a balloon and you're way up high, I don't know, we'll have to see how it's easy it is to see the balloons. Maybe the semi-auto just could tag all the balloons, right? And then kind of defeats the purpose of that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I want to... Um, Continue to grow the channel. Need your help. And, um, yeah, let's get it. Take care, guys. Halo out.